Hi friends, it's Sarah Miller House here and I am excited to share a new layout that I made with you for Shimmers Paints. And I am using the February 2023 color kits. So uh, the first color that I am using is a colorings called Moody Mauve. And I also sprayed on the Vibes A Thrill on Mulberry Hill. Super cute names. Uh, so I am using Fo Vicki Booten's Foundations Mixed Media Cardstock, and I sprayed those two, the colorings and the ink and the vibes on there. And then I also added water. So to kind of spread that color out and move it around the page. Um, and then I also am using a brush to add some splatters to the background. And this is super easy. I'm just making a splash of color on the background. So um, I did let it sit and dry for a little while. It doesn't look like that with the, with the, um, the power of video, but I did uh, skip ahead a little bit, skip ahead a little bit and let it dry. So what I'm going to do now is I am using a stencil from Pear Tree Cut Files and it's hexagons. And I'm using that with a texture paste from Ranger. I'm using the opaque matte texture paste. This is my favorite one to use. And so I'm using that, uh, the stencil and um, the 12 by 12 scale of this stencil makes it super easy to be able to add something like this texture paste to the background on a larger scale. So I love that. So I'm going ahead and putting that on there, making sure I like how thick it is. You can see I did check a little bit, lift it up and check. And then I did put it off to the side and dry. So I let it dry for a little while, not too long, but maybe 30 minutes. And then I am taking it, I've cleaned the stencil off, and now I put the stencil back on, um, on that dry texture paste. And I am using the other colors in the color kit to add with a brush, some color to that background. So the first color I'm using is, um, it's called Oh My Squash. It's a really cool, uh, it's sort of, almost an orange, but not quite an or It's like a mustardy orange. I love the color that it is. And then the green color uh, is a creamies and it is called Sage It Ain't So. So that's a great green. It worked well uh, when you see it with the pattern papers that I'm gonna be using on this layout. I did use it with brighter greens, but it would also look really pretty with some more muted green, green tones in patterned papers. Really, I think it would look good with anything that it goes with. So I love the color that it is. It could lean lime. It could lean um, a little uh, a little more toned down uh, if that's what you're using it with. So, and the Oh My Squash is a shimmers. So it comes wet, the creamies comes dry, and I just added water and you saw me do that there. Uh, and I am cutting out the patterned paper from Paige's new collection and I am using the hexagon patterned, Paige Evans new collection, and I'm using the hexagon patterned paper. And so I cut out a bunch of those hexagons and I love how they're gonna look with the hexagons that are on the background on my page. So this, in that collection I think is called Bloom Street. I need to double check the name of that. I'll be sure and list it below. And so this is the her newest collection that just came out and then that last color that I went and added was a shimmers called Antique Lace. So again, that's another one that comes wet, super duper shimmery, lots of little pieces of sparkle in there. And I just splattered that on to the background. So I've got my photo. The photo that I start with, that photo that's there is a four by six. I do end up printing it out smaller. So I do use that same photo, but I do print it out on a smaller scale just because our faces seemed so large because <laughs> it's kind of a, it's a selfie of my family and it was kind of close up of my brother on one side and my husband on the other. And anyway, I thought it was a little too big. So I do end up printing it smaller. So here, what I'm doing with that patterned paper, you can see there. So now I'm using a three by four version of it instead of a four by six. So the patterned paper, I kind of have going down the page top to bottom, but it's kind of like at an angle. I didn't want it to be perfect, so it's not its not exactly right, but it's just kind of flowing down that page, those hexagons. And then 
my photo, I am pulling more papers from the same collection, Paige's new collection, and I am using those to back my photos. So I really wanted a green that coordinated with that Sage It Ain't So color. And then this piece of patterned paper from the six by eight uh, patterned paper pad goes really well with the Oh My Squash. It's like almost the exact same, exact same tone. So I thought that that was perfect to have both of those there to coordinate. And then those purpley colors on my background look really good. There's about four, I think four or five different purples in this collection which I love. I love purple as a color and it's often not in collections. So I love that it's in there and that uh, the two sprays look really, really good with those different purples in this collection. So here I am popping my picture, my photo up on craft foam in between the two layers of patterned paper. And then my photo is gonna sit right there. I did try to play around with that purple plaid that I had cut. It ended up, I just didn't, it wasn't working for me. So I took that off and I like it much better without it. So I am using a dry adhesive just to hold the, the photo in place. And then I used wet adhesive because I'm gluing it down to lots of different mediums on that background. I did want to make sure that it's good and adhered down. And so I am here, you see, I am, I put a piece of paper to protect my photo and then I'm sitting my, uh, my tape, you know, my tape there is kind of heavy. So to hold it down while it's, while that glue is adhering a little bit. And then what I did here is some of those hexagons from the patterned paper. I went and just fussy cut those out individually and then distressed the edges. I did that off camera with my Tim Holtz edge distressor. You can skip that step if you, if you don't like the look of distressed paper. I happen to love it. So um, I cut some of those hexagons and then I'm popping those up on a pretty thick adhesive foam and I'm just adding it on top of the hexagons that are already there and I'm, they're not all the exact same patterns that I'm sitting them on top of, but they're, they are the same tones, same colors. So I just wanted some of them popped up here and there to give it visual interest. And now I'm using some embellishments from the same collection from Paige Evans. And that word there is happy. These are the foam, foam stickers. So the word happy, and then I do have a little green heart that I tried to add. I will end up adding that at the end, but it didn't work at first. So this skipped it. This did skip ahead a little bit to where I was adding florals. So I added a whole big cluster of florals down below the right hand corner of the photo. And now I'm going to be adding a bunch of florals to the top left corner of that photo and I am popping the different pieces up on craft foam at different thicknesses so some thicker thicker craft foam and some thinner because I want it to look at like varied levels and um, like a bouquet does and uh, I also do bend up all of the edges of my flowers and my leaves if you've watched my layouts you've heard me say lots of times to rough those up and bend them up to make it look more realistic. So I love how flat flowers look on other people's layouts, but on mine, I need that texture and that dimension. So I always, I always pop those or bend those up and kind of curl them up around the page. So I'm trying to add a little bit of balance here and draw your eye into that photo by having the embellishments all around it. And I do add adhesive just to the very centers of all those flowers so that it allows me to bend up all of the petals. And I love all of the different florals in this collection. So lots of different colors that coordinate very well with the colors in the color kit. So I'm gonna finish up those bouquets. I did, so there's that green heart that I really wanted to add. And I added a little orange heart too, little puppy stickers. And here I, I also added some little flower puffy stickers. And then I tried to add a few more of those floral ephemera, but it just didn't, it didn't need it. So I stopped. <laughs> Sometimes knowing when to stop is, is tricky for me because I love more is more, but I did stop there. And then down on that right hand corner, just to kind of continue the pattern moving down the 
it was kind of, I started at the left corner, top left corner of the layout and then kind of moved everything down to the bottom right. So I wanted to finish that out. So I did add the word love and then a little phrase sticker right above that. And then I am adding my journaling down there. I just made lines with a ruler and a pencil. And then I'm using a marker that coordinates with the, um, with the colors that I used and that that marker that I'm using does look really good with the antique lace. It's very similar in tone to that. So here what I'm doing is taking liquid pearls from Ranger and then pops of color from scrapbook.com and I'm adding just some detailing to the centers of those flowers. Anytime I'm using paper flowers I do try to add some more details just because it makes them pop a little bit more. So I'm adding details to the center of the flowers and then also just kind of around, embellishing around those clusters of flowers. So I do use these to highlight some of the lines that are already there and some of the little dots that are already there and then I add some of my own. And you'll be able to see that much better in the close-up photos that are coming up. And then I am going to add a few little small shiny embellishments. So here I'm pulling out my box and I'm adding a few little shiny embellishments, different kinds of shiny embellishments from Buttons Galore. I'm adding those all around those clusters. Because the different mediums from Shimmer's Paints are all very shiny and glittery and sparkly, I love to add just a touch more just a touch more sparkle with those shiny embellishments. So I'm adding a few more down around my journaling. And then here it is, Bring, I'm bringing it close to the camera so that you can see some of those details, hopefully, on the centers of those flowers. And here are some close-up photos of all of the details. I hope that you will give the video a like and tap the bell for notifications and subscribe to our channel if you like it. Thanks so much. Hope you have a great day. Bye guys.